Welcome to my channel. It's Miss Tay Rose. Today I'm here with you with yet another Halo eye. It's like I'm almost addicted to this look, but anyway, in order to see how I achieve this look, make sure you keep on watching. All right, so I already primed my lids and set them. So we're just going to shift gears towards the first thing I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this MAC eyeshadow and this is in the number 003. I'm not only going to wear this alone or apply this alone on my eye. I'm also going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. And the first shade I'm going to use out of this with 003 by MAC is Soul. Now this is my first time using Soul for my eyes or as part of my makeup looks. So I'm just going to do on windshield wipers. I'm building my color as I go along. So not only am I going to apply this alongside my crease as my transition shade, I'm also going to apply it on my outer third and my inner third. Or go back into the same Norvina palette. I'm going to take the shade Love and I'm going to apply that directly above the Soul and MAC 003 mixture so I can create a gradient effect between the pink and the purple on this eye. And I'm not going to use that brush, I'm going to use a smaller eyeshadow brush so it can be kind of a line right around the boundary of that purple shade that I applied earlier. is set what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in with that purple mixture that I did earlier and I'm going to blend that in there all right so I'm putting away the Norvina palette for now I'm gonna go I'm gonna move on to another palette and this is the elf palette and it has everything compacted in here it has I shadow colors it has lip colors it even has some blush in here as well and it has eye pencil and ironically this also has a mirror I'll just show you quickly how compact this is everything compacted in one so I'm going into this elf compact um, or this elf palette with everything in it I'm going to first use this purple shade in order to go a little underneath my my first purple mixture and then I'll tell you what I'm going to do after I apply the purple now for this one I want to be extra careful so I'm going to use this pencil brush wait not that one I'm going to use this pencil brush So now remember, um, that purple shade that I just that I'm applying now is going to go a little underneath my Soul and Mac color mixture. Going back to the same Elf palette, I'm going to take this brown shade to deepen that purple that I just applied. So, in other words, this is going to be my dimension shade. So now this e.l.f. compact is all set as well. Whoa. That was a close call. What I'm going to do now is cut the crease. And when I'm cutting my crease, I'm going to use the same products that I usually use. But if you are a new viewer, I delve into my Rimmel Lasting Breathable 25 Hour Concealer in 300 or Medium. And then in order for me to 
apply or to do my cut crease, I use this small eyeshadow brush. And I'm not going to cut my crease all the way. I'm going to cut my crease only in the center. Now this is my favorite part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the Norvina palette and I'm going to mix two shades. Reason I'm doing this is because in this case I was confused with what which one to use so I'm like you know what forget it. I'm mixing the two together. I do this with my everyday makeup going to work and running errands as well. I just mix it if I don't know what to use. I'm going to mix summer and then I'm going to mix Dazzling together because these are the two shades that I was indecisive about. I'm going to use a small eyeshadow brush to do so. And again, I'm not setting my concealer so that way it's best for these shimmer shades to adhere to the concealer and to shine bright. And with this Norvina um, palette, like these shimmers, they come out amazing. Like I know like it may be too much, but I mean in this case, you want it to be a lot so it's compacted and it's right there. So going back into this e.l.f. compact palette, I'm going to go back in, oh I almost clamped my nail, no thank you. I'm going to um, use both of the purple and well, hold on. I'm going to go in into the purple shade first to blend out the harsh lines from the halo or the cut crease boundary. And then afterwards, I'm going to go back in with that brown to, to deepen the color closer to my halo. But first things first, going with the purple. Alright, so only some of my halo eyes getting um, covered with the cut crease boundary. So I'm going to go back into that brown to deepen it. And that's a little disguise, you guys. To hide these lines. Just so you know for the future. Always, always, always going with a darker color when it comes into that halo. To disguise those lines. Alright, because that is what you want to do. So that pencil brush is not doing it, so I'm going to go back in with this brush and do that because then it gets the job done quicker. Oh my gosh, like makeup is so therapeutic. I almost went to sleep. Anyway, All right, so I'm going to wake myself up. So I'm done with this compact palette. So I'm going to go back into the Norvina palette and I'm going to apply both Summer and Dazzling on my on the part where I put my cut crease or where I did my cut crease because you know, when, I, when I blend it I noticed that that has disappeared so I'm going to go back in with the small eyeshadow brush and put some more of those two colors in there. I'm going to go back to the e.l.f. palette and I'm going to take the same two shades I applied that I used earlier, both the purple and this brown. And I'm going to mix it in some more 
I mean, um, the goal is for it to be seamless. And in order to do this, though, it's as accurate as this eye is to go in with a pencil brush and just lightly brush, brush those two colors nearby. So once you brush those two colors nearby, you see that careful transition from the purple all the way to the gold mixture. I'm gonna add some more of that Summer Dazzling Mixture from the Norvina palette. What I did was, I also went into this same palette and I added this brown shade off to the side so that way my halo eye is now set. And to, make, and to deepen this part a little more, I'm going to add the same brown using my pencil brush. And I'm only going to use um, the very top of the brush in order to get that precision up here. I'm going to lightly brush lightly to deepen it so yeah I'm finished what the heck all right so I'm finished with this so I mean my eyelids are pretty much set but I have one more thing to do before I do the rest going back to the Norvina palette and I'm going to move on to my brow light for my brow light I'm going to use base and this is the lightest shade that is in the palette in order for me to do my brow light and this will help so that way my eyes look like this and it'll tame that pink down a little bit or I should say so it's not so close to my eyebrows it's where it should be that pink color my little baby hey. mm -mm -mm. And then, okay. now my eyelids are officially set before I move on to my under eyes, I'm going to swipe away. Swipe, 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 swipe. So this is okay for swiper to um, start swiping. Swipe, swipe, swipe. And then right here, I, mean, I baked um, I baked um, in an angle like that on purpose so that I can get that cut. So I'm going to do. I'm going to make it a little neater by just brushing that bake. A little on that part so that way it could be a little sharp going back to um, the elf palette I'm only going to use one color for the eyelids simple as that one color and that is going to be this purple shade I'm going to use my same pencil brush and I'm going to apply that along my bottom lash line right, I want you guys to see how beautiful this is like watch this oh let me see Purple is on point. So you can leave your bottom lash line like this, or you can let what I did and add a little more gold. I remember when I was doing this, I only tried doing the gold by itself, but I pretty much have to add a little concealer underneath there. So, in order to do that, I'm gonna go back into my Rimmel Last and Beautiful Concealer in 300 Medium and take my same small eyeshadow brush and there's a lot there's some leftover on there so I'm gonna take the leftover only a tad bit not too much because you don't want it to be too empowering but if you want it to be like kabam you go right ahead but I don't want to do it because I want my eyes to have the attention I'm gonna line my I'm going to line my concealer up with the halo and I'm just going to apply it like that. So now I'm going back into the Norvina palette and I'm going in between them two palettes but this is what you got to do to have your eye looks pop. Alright. Again, in the Norvina palette I'm going to go back into that summer and dazzling shades mixed together. 
Now I'm going to use the very tip or the very top part of this eyeshadow brush in order to precisely apply those shadows right where my concealer is. Now I'm not going to wipe it on, I'm just going to pack it on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the same e.l.f. palette and I'm going to take this purple shade and I'm going to blend it into where I put the, the gold mixture and the um, purple under my eyes so that way it could be um, small and not too much. I'm back I just um finished the rest of my face and now I have to move on to the lips all right so I mean I have um two lip products and that's because I love giving a choice as to whichever look you want to um do when to try this at home so the first lippy that I'm going to apply is this Tarte Tartus lip paint and birthday suit the last time I put it on the top part came apart so Let's see if it's going to do it this time around. Yep, and it did. This sucks. Like, hold on. Whoa, hold up. It broke. <laughs> Please make these better because mine just broke and now unfortunately I can't be able to wear a birthday suit on its own. I have to buy a separate applicator. If you want to buy a birthday suit, beware or any of the tart lippies, beware that it might fall apart. Cause I was talking with my sister and she said that that's the same thing that happened to her. We take care of our own um, products. I mean, we don't we don't put them we don't shove them anywhere, we don't stuff them anywhere. We try to give each of our products enough space for them to not be broken and the top part is pretty much broken like that is sad alright I'm gonna put this suit off to the side I gotta figure out what to do with that alright so this is birthday suit on with my makeup look I'm just gonna give you a few poses So, I mean, not only do I have a birthday suit, but I also have another option that's also by Tarte, and this is their H2O Gloss in Sandbar. I'm going to apply that on my lips really quickly. This is my first time wearing it. It changes the color a lot to the point where it's like... So, I'm going to give you some poses with this lippy so this makeup look and this lippy overall is definitely Tay Rose approved thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure also to comment down below any more halo eye looks that you would like to see hmm. if you are a new viewer make sure you click on that subscribe button once you're finished clicking on that subscribe button, make sure to click on that bell so that you are notified for when my videos are out. That's all I have. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.